All right. So let's see how this goes. Whew, let me. All right, so I think I am live. <laughs> Gosh, it's always awkward this part again. Um, but I think I'm live, so. Let's just see. Uh, when I say that I am. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Yes. So I am live. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. So hello, everyone. <laughs> Hola, gordita. Hi, Debbie. Um, so, all right. So we are now on day three. Super excited to have you here. Again, um, a little bit awkward to see. Um, yeah, to see how Zoom is doing this, because um, I think there is a lag from what I see on my screen versus what is going on on the Facebook. So anyway, but thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to start seeing here who is uh, getting in. I have uh, my cell phone here so I can read all your comments. And so anyway, so today we're going to be, again, working on making cars using the sketch that I have been pretty much showing since last week because again i want you to see how easy it is to be creating as many cars as you want with the one um with the one sketch right and you can see how easy it always um it always helps you to get more ideas and so anyway and now um if this is the first of the videos that you've seen this is the cart we made um on monday and again it's just the rectangle and then in this case i did a cluster of little dice which in, which in this case was hearts um and then yesterday we did another one where we did the technique um of the clouding of the clouds um with the sponges actually i used one of our blending brush and then i used one of the gold hoops as the circle that we wanted for our sketch and then you can see the the uh butterflies there so you can see how um yeah, using that sketch will help you get even more ideas. And of course, I don't even see it right now, my sketch right here. It was here and I got it. Here we go, I'm like, so that I can flip the camera. So anyway, so for today, I wanted to use um, designer series paper, mainly because I think that we all have designer series paper. And that's one of the things that you can use right away, super easy, and you can create as many cards with that. I think that that's uh, by far one of my favorites because it helps you so much. So let me start flipping the camera. I'll go there um, and then I'll show you again the sketch. So if this is the first time you're seeing um, this workshop, you can get the idea of what we're doing here. All right, so hold on for a second. I'm gonna flip the camera here. And here we go. And I still have a little bit of a mess here. Let me just move this one out of the screen. Oh, I'm gonna be putting here this one so I can see the comments in a way. Hi, Jan. Hi, Nancy. All right, all right. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Hi, Kate. So anyway, so let me just make sure all is good here. All right, so as I was mentioning, this is the sketch that we've been using the whole, um, the whole week. Well, since last week and then this week, um, like I mentioned, it's just very easy. It has the rectangles, a circle, and then a banner. And the first thing that you can be doing as you are modifying your sketches, obviously go with the horizontal direction, but it's in essence, it's the same thing, right? You have the rectangles, the circle, and then the, uh, the banner. Now, um, one thing as always I've mentioned is that this circle can be anything. And then the rectangles, you can do so many things with that one. Like I was mentioned, you can be doing either your specialty paper, like we did in this case, right? We did the, we used the mercury sheet, or you can be doing a technique for the background. Or today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the uh, designer series paper. And like I said, this one should be the easiest of all, but I do like um, using designer series paper because again, that's, um, that's one of the things that I'm pretty sure we all have. We all have some sort of paper somewhere. And so let me just bring it here and then we'll go from there. Let me see. And I have two cars. 
I was planning on one and then I thought about this one. Of course, I wanted to play it with the ice cream. What is corner? I think it's called. Let me see. Yeah, ice cream corner designer series paper, which is this one. And um, and I love it that it has the purple. So of course I wanted to go with that color combination. But um, really all you have to do with the designer series paper is define which ones you wanna use for the um, background. And you can see here, I have already some pieces of paper. Most of the time I just pull all of the designer series paper and then just kind of see what I like from them. Um, I do like having images that I can either fussy cut or use my dice to cut out because those are just the easiest way to kind of embellish your card. Kind of like what we did for the snail mail suite that I show last week. Um, and then you can see on the other side, you have a more of a background paper, meaning there's no, uh, there's nothing to cut out. It's more, yeah, it's just for a background. Now this one in particular, I think it's really nice because you can be creating the cones. So I thought that was really nice to have uh, one of those this way. And then this one would be a great for a background, but then you can have this other side that whether you can use it for a background or you can be cutting out the, um, the ice cream tops. Um, this one in particular comes with a punch, right? That this sweet. And that's another thing that I like to do. I always pull all the things that go with the sweet if I have it. If I don't, then I just improvise with whatever I have. But in this case, I do have it. And so I know that I can be using the top for these little um, areas. So that's another way you can be thinking of how to use them. And um, see, this one is the same thing. You can be punching out the tops of the ice cream from here. And then again, you have this section that is more for like a background. Uh, same thing with this one, you have a background and you can either fussy cut those or use them as a background as well. This one, the same thing, a background and then the tops of your ice creams. And then same thing here, you can either fussy cut or, um, or use them for a background. And of course this one is more like a background. So I feel like this one is really a nice, it's, um, I feel like this one is really great for either a kid's party, like invitations, I thought that would be great. Uh, also, you can be doing it for like birthday cards as well. Um, and then the stamp set from this one actually has those, yeah, right? Like it has the happy birthday, the treat yourself. So this one would be great also for like gift cards, just because of this treat yourself. I thought that would be really great to have. Um, and um, so anyway, so that's what I thought about those. But like I said, I always try to kind of bring all the paper out just to see which one calls my eye and then see how I wanna be using it, right? So once I have that, let me just move the paper out so that we can go. Then um, I just pull up the different designer series paper. And so in this case, I knew I wanted to use the purple posy just because that's one of my favorite colors. So I knew I wanna be using that one. But at the back of the designer series paper, you always have all the information as far as what colors they, they, they have right? Um, definitely wanted to be using this one. And so when I cut out this one, that's when I decide about the purple posy, just because it looks really nice, right? And then I wanted to be using also this one, um, mainly because I want to be using the, what is this called? The ice cream, right? And like I mentioned, I use one of my scraps, and you have it here, I use this scrap to punch out, um, the cone for the ice cream. Now, here's where the next thing is as far as what do you wanna be adding? You know that our, our sketch pretty much is something like that, right? And, and something like this, and then I can have my, um, the top of the ice cream, right? Now, I wanna be putting a label and I thought because of this, uh, because of the ice cream will be kind of tall to be better in a oval, and so I would just go with that one, right? And following the colors from this paper, I went ahead and um, die cut one of the Escola of Ovals um, in the Blackberry Blaze. Again, I tried to use the colors from the designer series paper just because that makes it so more easier uh, and everything kind of coordinates really nicely. Now, the one thing though that I wanted to just show you today, and I know I already shared that part from this nail mail is that when I am using the designer series paper, and especially if it's only gonna be showing that little, I've been loving a lot, kind of shifting them a little bit, right? 
So something like that, where I can see a little bit more of the paper, even though you can see it's only an eighth of an inch larger. If I shift it a little bit, right? Then I can see a little bit more of that paper. And I'll be honest, I would also like to cut out a piece from here and I might just do that because I just always feel like I waste my paper if I do it just like that because everything else is cover. But if I put here, if I die cut, like for instance, um, if I die cut, which one is this? The, um, the so sweetly dies, then I can have a label that I can use for something else. So I definitely like using or doing that just to maximize my paper, but mainly because I really feel guilty just using this much paper that no one is gonna see. Um, and then I'll have this one, right? Here is the ice cream. And then from, from the colors that I see, that's where I start thinking about um, what color do I wanna be using for the top. Now, in this case, I brought um, all the ink pads that I thought we could use. And so I have these, the blushing bright. And do I have a piece of paper here? Yep, this is the one. Let me see, uh, not this one, this is the thick part. So, so let me just bring a piece, yeah, a piece for that. So I can use this one, um, cause I'm just gonna be punching it. So anyway, so I can go with the blushing bright or I can use the pool party. And again, I'm just taking the colors from here and I even thought about the Highland header, right? So I, can, I, I just go ahead and kind of play with them and see which ones I like the best and go from there. So let me just pull out the piece of paper here. And I think the blue will be nice. I think the purple, I don't know. I'll go with the purple and the blue just because I love those. Um, although I can see also a lot of that um, blushing bright and actually this one said it was petal pink so I might just pull the petal pink as well and see which one I like and so it is just a matter of playing with it and see which one looks better let me just see do I yeah that kind of fits okay and um because it's a photopolymer stamp I always bring the pierce mat because that way I get a better transfer of the of the image and now, because I'm gonna be playing and see which color do I like, I would um, have my chamois close to, close to me so that I can just clean it and then switch the color and see which one I like. That way we can, um, yeah, we can see which one I like. Let me just try first the petal pink. Now I'm kind of thinking that maybe that color goes well. Because like I said, it did said it was um, petal pink but oh, you see, like, I don't think it really is petal pink, right? Like you can see that one. I don't think that's petal pink. I mean, although it says it's petal pink, but um, I think it also has the blushing bright. So I'm gonna go with that one. Now this one be in um, pinks. I don't have to kind of clean it. Let me just go ahead and bring this one. Yeah, this one looks more like the color on the, ice cream here so this one kind of looks okay all right and then i'm going to clean it and then do the pool party and then i'm going to be doing one in the highland header and again that's just what i do first um really just with the scraps as you can see i'm not really using um yeah i don't use um my regular but just the scraps and see which one works the best. So let's just go with the, what is this, that pool party? Oh, oh, see, and I did it really at the end, at the bottom. So let me just do this one again, because if it works, then I'm gonna be using that one. So there we go. So that's the pool party and let's just see this one. Yeah, this one also looks nice. Although I feel like this one is a little more like a darker blue. Like I said, I just go and see which one looks the best and go from there. All right, so now let's just try the Highland Heather. And we'll see what we think about that. Um, well, let me see if I can fit it here. 
I'm sure I can fit it here. And of course, this is my favorite color, so hopefully that works. <laughs> okay, so, so let's see this. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. I mean, that one looks kind of nice, of course. I mean, it's purple. I'm sure it works. <laughs> but I'm gonna just cut out all of them and see which one I like the best as I am putting them together. I think like the pool party might not work, I'll be honest, just because it's a little bit lighter than what the color here. It feels like maybe it's like balmy blue, you know? Maybe it's balmy blue. Even though the thing said it was, um, let's just put it here. Yeah, see that? I don't really think that's um, the pool party. I mean, it looks really cute, but it kind of doesn't go that well with that. Or maybe even the seaside spray, right? Like something that is more blue. Let me just check again the colors. Maybe they have other blues. Um, so seafoam. No, it doesn't. No, it says it's the um, pool party. But again, it just seems like it has more of the blue. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do another one. You know, I mean, you can use whatever color you want. So let's just try about me blue and see how it looks because I kind of like the blue but I don't know if it's the right or maybe the seaside foam um, no the seaside spray might be a good one yeah let's just see oh I need to do another one here so let me try also the seaside spray before I go and yeah like at this point it sounds like I'm trying all of them right so but oh well. Just want to make sure. Yeah, so let's see which one looks nicer. So I, just, I just feel it looks more blue. So I feel like the balmy blue might be, um, let me see. And again, I love having punches because that's just super easy. So not this one, but I can use it in another part. Oh my gosh. And then let me bring my scissors here for a second. Um, okay, so what happened to the scissors now? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, here. I'm like, hold on. What happened with them? make sure they are center and then I'm going to be taking this one already as well and same thing with this one let's just pull all of them and see which ones we like the most All right, so let's just see this. So again, we're gonna go ahead and fit him a little bit in, a, in an angle. And then I'm gonna have this one right there, have that one here, and I can change sides, but um, like if I had here now, it seems like there's more of the green and I didn't even pick the green. So I'm just gonna go with this side, just because I don't wanna be, doing another one, like I already did too many colors. So let's just see. So I think this color looks nice. It goes more along with the lines, even though it says it's pool party. I think uh, we need something else. Here's a pool party and I feel like they don't look alike. So that's that. The brushing, uh, blushing bright kind of looks nice as well. I actually like that one too. And then of course, let's try that one. Same. And if you ask me, I think that's the one because I love purple. <laughs> but you can tell me which one do you think you like the most. Um, yeah, which one do you think you, you like more? Um, 
Yeah, I feel like I like that one. I mean, it goes with the purple. I don't know that I like. I mean, it looks really, that one looks really great with those. But um, yeah, I think I like this one. Plus, I want to use that ribbon that comes in that in this suite. So it is the Blackberry Bleed. So yeah, so maybe I do go with the purples, you know? So let's just do a bow because definitely I love doing bows for my cards. I feel like the bows always add something to your cards. Like it could be very simple, then you add a bow and it already looks amazing. I don't know. Do you feel the same way? I know that um, for me, that's that's the case. And I think that's why I always had, almost always have some sort of a, a ribbon or a, there you go. See that? Oh, yes. Yes, purple. I feel like purple will be, yes, let's go with purple. I could have used, um, I could have just started with the purple and that's it rather than go through all the colors, but hey, I, I give it a try. <laughs> I give it a try. Although, I mean, who am I kidding? I love the purple. Purple was gonna win no matter what. <laughs> so there we go. Here we go, yep. And again, I have this one so I can create another card later on. So I'm not gonna be, I usually like to keep all my, uh, all these things whenever I am trying out things, because at this point I just need to be um, making or cutting these cones and then I have another cart right there. So never throw them away because you still can do it, especially if you have the paper out, you can remember that third video when I mentioned that you can keep going or with ideas. Well, that's exactly what happens. I start trying something and then of course I have all these colors. And then I just start using them, right? Because now I have enough to do either two cards or one more card, which is a long ice cream, or maybe I just do four more cards. So that's always helpful. And that's why I always design all my cards and then I put them together because having those pieces, I can already start seeing, okay, yeah, it looks better here or whatever. And I have them already done. So that's usually how uh, I end up making that many cards just because I'm trying out what color I like the best and then whatever is left out, then I know I can use them in other cards, if that makes sense. And like, for instance, if one of them didn't look perfect, right? Ooh, this one looks nice. Um, if one of them don't look quite right, like for instance, this one, the pool party was the one that was kind of odd. All of these kind of look okay with this paper, but this one was kind of odd. If I had something like that going on, then the next card I do, I will not use a designer series paper for that. Or I might use a different pattern because it didn't work for this one. So not working with one of your designs could work with a different one. Um, so for instance, it might look nicer with something like this, right? So um, always, always just keep that in mind because um, you can be using it with something else and they will look nice. See, this one will look really nice with something here right? See that? It looks nicer with that one, but it didn't work out with this particular design. So never throw them away. And, and again, that's why I like to design as many of them, because you already have these pieces. It's just now a matter of finding the layout and the, the pattern that will go with those colors. So anyway, that's, that's one thing that I always do, and it always helps a lot. So the next thing is really having our banner and um i don't even know what happened with i thought i had already cut it out maybe i didn't oh here maybe i did so i don't know yeah see because i didn't know what was the color that i was going to be using i had either whisper white which i think it will be too much white and then of course i had the highland heather which could potentially go really nice or the um posy the posy, what is this color again? Purple posy, yes. And then I had also this one, which I don't know that I'd like that one here. So I might just go with one of these. So let's just put this part together and then we'll play it with the rest. Um, all right, oh, and I don't think I set the measurements for these. So let me just get my ruler here in a second. Oh. 
Don, you know me now. Yes, you knew I was going to go with the purple. <laughs> so now this one is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And then this one is um, three and three quarters by five. And of course, the purple posy is eight and a half by five and a half. I want to say that almost all my cards are these measurements. I do love the ones that are the long side, the four by 11. But for whatever reason, whenever I'm putting my paper, this is the one that I go like 99% of the times. All right, so here we have. And like I said, I really want to cut this paper because I feel like it's too much that no one is going to be seeing, but okay, I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> but if, yeah, I would probably see how nice it looks already. And it's just shifted. And again, this is a, a simple way to change the layout. The layout from the sketch was this way, right? In this one, you truly don't see almost anything, right? But uh, if you shift it a little bit, right? It just looks much, 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 much better in my eyes, I think. There we go, see that? And you can see more of this. It's still a little bit, but it just pop up more on the design. So let's just go ahead and do that because I know I will be just leaving that that way. And again, you could also use these, uh, this design to cut out the, the top of the ice cream as well. So let me just put it this way so I know. And the only thing you have to be careful is just to make sure you need to be in an angle, but it's still kind of um, centering in a way and making sure you're not going outside any of the areas. Okay. And then we're gonna be doing this one in an opposite angle. There we go. And see that? Thank you so much for sharing, um, Shirley. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna be putting this one again in an angle. Just need to make sure. There we go. And then you're trying to kind of, um, what am I trying to say? Center them in a way where you kind of see almost the same amount and you can see I did not do that here, but it's almost about the same, the same areas. Like when you're crossing here, where it's uh, close to those, to your car stock, you kind of want to have almost the same amount. So it looks, it looks nicer that way. Or at least like feel like that. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this one here, this one there. Um, you know, I could probably add some of those sprinkles here. That will nice. That will be nice. I know that we have um, this one, maybe. We'll see. And um, for the sentiment, I don't know that the happy birthday. Oh, it kind of fits. So maybe, yeah, maybe I go with that one. It kind of fits. Let me see if I have a longer piece. I should have a longer piece. I should have a longer piece. Yeah. And so when I'm doing that, I think it's like a one inch, yeah, a one inch strip. So let's just cut one inch strip from here. Let me just put it on this side. And then for this, I want to I, I want to use maybe the um, blackberry bleeds. Well, I think blackberry bleeds might be too dark. Maybe the gorgeous red. Yeah, gorgeous red. Yes. Yes, I think gorgeous red will be nice. Yes, it will be more in the purplish. Well, we'll try both. We'll see. Like I said, I like trying things out, and if I don't like it, then I go with the next one. At the end of the day, we have two sides, so we can do it from both ends. So that's good. And where is the, here we go. Okay, so now for this one. Oh my gosh, what did I do with the stamp set now? 
Hmm. Like, I know I just look at it at a second ago, and I don't even know what I did with the uh, stem set. Oh, here we go. I'm like, what did I do with the stem set? All right, so let's just go ahead and do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go first with the Blackberry Bliss. And then if I don't like it, then I go with the Gorgeous Grape. That way I kind of bring again that Blackberry Bliss from, from the um, paper that I am using. But I feel like sometimes this one, well, it might look really nice. Okay. Oh, actually, I like it. So I'm just going to leave it with that. Definitely love it. It goes really nice. Now, whenever I use darker colors, like the reds or the dark purples, definitely you want to be cleaning them um, for the photopolymers. And they're going to get a stain, but the sooner you clean it, the better you are. Um, and yes, they're going to be a stain, but nothing happens. You still can use them. So that's totally okay. There we go. Yeah. And like I said, it's going to be a stain, as you can see here, right? You have it a stain, but it works well either. Yeah, with any other color. I just like to clean them right away. So now let's just see. I definitely want to do like a little banner or something here. I don't want to get out of, um, that sort of thing, I gotta be careful. I don't want to get to, to this area because then it cannot get lost. So I want it to be more towards this section. So I just need to make sure that I can put it there. It's kind of like a long one for this. And then I'm going to be putting this one right here. And then I'll put this one right there. Yeah, so like a little banner. Okay. And where is the orange? You know what? In this one, maybe I want to go with like an angle rather than, yeah, you know what? because the points are gonna get out and you're not gonna be able to see it and it's just gonna look awkward. So she's gonna go with like a little angle here. Yes, much better, yes. See that? Because if you have two, you don't really see them, but in this case, you kind of see it. So I like that better. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that. And like I said, this one has to be here, right? And then I can even add this one right here, have that one here, yes. Have the ice cream. There you go. Yep, I like it. And then I'm gonna be adding this one right here. Yes, okay, there we go. See, so you just keep Put in your layers however you want until you're happy with what you're doing. That's all I'm doing here. And again, using the designer series paper, I feel like for sketches, that's like the easiest that you can do. You know, I want to be positioning this one where I want it. Um, mainly because you just make it, um, you just make it work with the designs, right? I mean, like you saw me here. I went with the colors, the designs, the patterns, and then, um, yeah, you just make it work. I just feel like that's the easiest way. Now, what did I do with this? Yeah, here. Now, for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and add um, dimensionals.
I'm just gonna be, you know what? I'm gonna be adding the minute ones. I feel like I want to put in each corner. And then I'm gonna be adding this one right there. And then this one is also gonna have dimensionals. Yep. And then I'll have this one as well. And for this, I'm gonna have, well, hold on. If this one is raised, I'm gonna have them somewhere in this section. There we go. All right. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put this one. And see, I'm going to be adding this one like right here, and then have this one right there. Again, I'm trying to make sure. So I might need another one right there. I didn't know if it was going to be touching the ice cream or not, if if the point were touching the ice cream, I would have just add then a glue dot. That way it's always like at the same level. Uh, but in this case, they're not gonna be touching. See that? I'm not gonna be touching. So, yep. There we go. And then I'm gonna be having this one like right here. Yeah, actually, I like it better there. This is the last one from yesterday's pack. There you go. Ooh, actually, I don't want it that much there. I want it more like here. I don't want it too much there. There you go. And then the final thing would be to add some sort of jams, right? And so for this one, I think just regular rhinestones will be good. So let's just bring some rhinestones. And let's just think about that. Which ones do we have? There we go. I have this one. Not bad. Hold on for a second. Huh. So like, where are the, yeah, there we go. Now I could even play with it and put some color to them. Maybe we'll do, no, cause that would be too, um, too purple. Like I thought I could put some purples, but maybe, oh, maybe some blackberry. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, the blackberry blaze would work. There we go. So this one is the dark, and then this one is the what the raspberry, fresh raspberry. Where's the blackberry? There we go. Let's see which one works. And so let's just color the one first with the lighter, and if I don't like it, then I can always make it the darker. Oh no, yes, definitely. I love, 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 love how it looks. Let me just make one with the darker to see what's the difference. It looks too dark. I like that one better. So I'm just gonna go with the with the lighter. And I'm just gonna add one of these little ones too. 
you just have to kind of be careful to not um, damage the point of your blend. But that's one of the things that I really love from the Stampin' Up! that because we have now the alcohol uh, markers, now we can have all our embellishments in, in the same colors that we have, right? So definitely love that from, from the Stampin' Up! So I'm just gonna go ahead and add like two of those. And then I'm gonna just add one more somewhere here, right? And then I might just add one here. And there we have it. So see how you add the gems and the ribbon. Like I said, for me, that has been something that I always um, do nowadays. As far as what is the inspiration for me? I just like the layout, of course. Um, and then it's always a ribbon and gems and whatever gems we have and you saw that I don't have this color or there's no eye gems in this color, but you can color them with your alcohol markers. Definitely lots and lots of options there. Um, and like I said, the signer series paper just make it so easy when you are um, making your cards using the sketches because you can just swap all the things around. And the other thing that you could be doing if you were using the signer series paper is you can do everything on a card base, but then do the label as your, um, as your designer series paper. If there's a specific design in the design series paper that you want to highlight, you can have all these pieces with, with cardstock, coordinated cardstock from the one on your paper, and then have a large label with, um, with the design that you like, and then a sentiment. So that would also look really nice. So anyway, so that's, that's the card for today. Um, what do you think, guys? I definitely love it because it's purple. <laughs> so I can go wrong with that, at least for me. Um, and like I mentioned, now that I have all these other extra pieces for sure, I can just start making more cards um, just with those. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw them away. Um, I would just think that I could make more cards out of the same uh, paper pack because they will all look really nice with just different backgrounds. Uh, it didn't work for this one in particular as I was going by, but definitely there are different other backgrounds on this paper that I could use. So anyway, so that's um, so that's the card. Let me just start transitioning and see if you have any questions here. Hold on, how do I, yeah, let me just go back here. All right. Uh, where is the thing here? There we go. Okay, so, so like I said, um, definitely using the sketch with the designer series paper, always the easiest way to come up with multiple cards. I think that that's the thing that I use the most. Um, and always just coordinated with um, your ribbon and your gems. Now, if you don't have that Blackberry Bliss uh, ribbon like I did, you can use a whisper white and then also color it with your alcohol marker. So definitely there's lots of options. You can be using what you have, you don't specifically have to have everything um, like I share, but, um, but yeah, there's lots of options there. Um, so anyway, so definitely, I hope you have enjoyed that. And like I mentioned, I just wanna make sure you are uh, all are aware um, the card making one on one program, which is the one, uh, the program where I go into so much more detail as to how you can come up with your card ideas, your designs. It's uh, closing this Saturday. If you want more information about it, make sure you look at the link that I put on the description of this video. And um, I just want to make sure it's clear it is a six week program. So it's not a card class like the regular classes where you get instruction as to how to do a specific set of cards. This one is more for you to be able to design your own cards. And um, so I think it's a really great program. Also, if you are already planning on doing card classes um, or events like a Facebook like or something, definitely that will be a great uh, program for you to have because you can come up with your own card ideas in an easier way. Um, you saw how I just, change things around well that's exactly how i um i do my my classes and like i mentioned on that video three from the workshop with it last week i tried to design all the class or all the cars at once and then i make them 
that's uh, one of the things that I can, I can tell you it always helps because once you are into that creative zone where you're coming with car ideas, where you're already cut out some things, you can easily make as many cards. And especially if you're doing a card class, then definitely you have already all those things uh, ready for you to, to keep coming up with more cards ideas. So anyway, so if you have any questions, by all means, let me know. Um, I did send an email today about the Q&A. So if I didn't answer one of your questions, make sure you uh, put it on the comments or you can email me at ali at creatingwithali.com. Um, definitely would like to see you all come into this program. I think it's a really great. And like I also said, um, this time we're gonna be doing crafting nights every single night or every single Saturday, every single night, every single Saturday um, so that we can craft together. So if you have a specific questions as to your projects, your designs, the car classes you're doing or something, I'm gonna be there. I can help you design them, uh, give you suggestions if you want. And of course, like I said, if you are uh, coming up to those um, crafting nights, I think that's the best because you build so much relationship with the ladies that, that are in that group. I think that that's the best experience I had had from the last time I launched that class. So anyway, so thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be here again at 7 p.m. And I'll show you another part using the sketch so you can see how the one sketch is actually helped you a lot. So anyway, so thank you, thank you. Let me see if there's any comments because I, yep, so I think we're good. All right, I don't, I don't think I have questions here. So anyway, so thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.